The FIFA World Cup is done and dusted, of course, with France emerging as champions. We can also um, go back to normalcy now, uh, where football and sport always win. Welcome to another edition of Hot Sports this beautiful Saturday morning. My name is Papa Chide Guerrero, and on our burner today, we'll be talking about the ever-evolving challenges that is currently surrounding the, um, the NFF house, of course, at the same time, looking at other sports as well as boxing and Formula One. And remember as well that this particular show is live on social media at Hot Sports NG across board. Of course, that's um, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I've got my guys in the studio. They're making a return onto the show. I mean, there's a Jamaican song that says, if that song is good, play it again. It means if at all you want to put it on repeat, my guys are on the repeat this beautiful morning. Hey, you know, how you doing? Let me start with you. Um, good morning, Guerrero. You know, up France, is that what I should, I should come yeah, back? Yeah, yeah, you can see up France. Say, yeah, I mean, I you can tell I said, him I said, I, said it, I said it last week. Yeah. I said it that France was going to beat Croatia. Mm. It was not, it was in no contest. So yeah. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, too. So welcome. Um, Shew, I'm sure you're still not relenting on your support for Croatia. <laughs> oh, no. Um, congratulations to France. They mm. exceeded all expectations. Yeah. And I think I, I, I'll give it to them. Mm. That, no, and um, Croatia as well, they can hold their heads high proudly. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, they true. went out gallantly. And um, it happens. It's football. Mm. 90 minutes. Definitely. The next yeah. time we get to see another World Cup will be in Qatar in 2022. But we must say that we thoroughly enjoyed what Russia had to serve. Welcome to another edition of Hotspot. We'll go for a quick break. When we return, there's so much to talk about. You don't want to miss it. And you're welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, thank you very, very much. Um, the name is Babaji De Guerrero, a you know, and uh, Sheung Sean is in the studios with me. Guys, let's talk about the very first thing on our table. The NFF challenges, the NFF saga still continues. And now um, ATO are leading, you know, the boycott. They are threatening to withdraw their NFF sponsorship deal of $2.5 if this leadership tussle doesn't revolve itself. I mean, what do you make of this as expected, yeah? Uh, it's quite unfortunate, mm. um, really unfortunate situation in which we find ourselves at the glass house. Um, I think it's doing the right thing. Nobody wants to go into an unwholesome relationship with um, anybody if your party is not doing okay with whatever you're doing, even if it's your family. It's either you walk out or you find a way to resolve it. So mm. I feel moving out, everybody else will probably follow them because Absolutely. right now they are the biggest thing in Africa mm. to ever happen to any national sports as it were so it doesn't spell good for us doesn't mm. spell good for us I mean, you know for a fact that we also get to talk about this particular issue and everything surrounding it at the part of discussion on hot sports itself that particular segment that we have come to love and meanwhile as well we can also uh, confirm that there's a suspension uh, you know of the nigerian professional football league uh, as a result of this the league was supposed to resume july 18 uh, but unfortunately it's going to be suspended as a result of all this saga. Yeah, no, I was looking forward to the league opening yesterday, mm. yeah, but um, I really don't understand what's happening right now because it's painful, not just for the league, but for the development of our sports because this is 2018, you know, countries are, are getting advanced, you know, building their, their league and we, we, keep, we keep talking about Nigerian league not developing, comparing it to South African league, but if mm. we keep having these issues, how do we develop? Mm. Where do we start from? Mm. So everybody needs to get their act together. We need to drop our ego. This is not, this league doesn't belong to anybody, it belongs for, to Nigeria and mm. for all Nigerians. Absolutely. So something needs to be done. It's, it's very sad. It's and you can sad. see the tone in Eino's voice. He's not, he's not showing any form of happiness in that tone. You can see he's really, really pissed off, just like a lot of people are as regards this particular issue. Well, pissed off is not the matter for Chris Giwa, as we can confirm that he's set to hold um, the faction of Chris Giwa, set to hold their Congress come July 27th. And we'll see how that definitely pans out, especially with a lot of shake-up going up in that mix. Well, uh, speaking of shake-up, of course, this particular player shook the World Cup and took it by storm um, again at Carrier Table. Some people actually said he's actually one of the best players from the Super Eagles of Nigeria to go to the World Cup for this year, 2018. Uh, but we're not talking about the World Cup again at Carrier now. We're talking about the organic Carrier Table that list is boot for Worry Wolves. Of course, when he was still playing here in Nigeria, Shane, we can confirm that he's currently written alongside 33 other players, including Daniel Akbei. They've written a letter to the EFCC to petition uh, Worry Wolves. Over 300 million worth of salaries and um, fi finance not um, lived up to by Worry Wolves. This year is not good for football, neither even good for the human being. Hmm. Well, uh, I would like to see this case to the end. Why? It's a breach of contract. Hmm. Simple as ABC. It's a breach of contract. It's um, financial inappropriation. 
Um, body wolves are not done themselves a whole lot of good as, as it is right now. You can't expect me playing for over years, no salary, no bonuses, and you expect me to just go like that. Mm -hmm. And why I, this, 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 this case should be a litmus test for our judicial system in the sense that a whole lot of clubs have been doing this in Nigeria over the times past. This needs to be stopped. It mm. needs to end now. This is, this is actually quite serious and we really feel for these particular players, especially the ones who didn't get a chance of going you know, to the World Cup. And this year is definitely going to be an ever-evolving issue, just like what we talked about as regards the NFF household. Oh, well, it's very, very visible that the World Cup feel is still very much in the minds and hearts of a lot of people. But of course, the World Cup is over. But then again, we still have one or two more views, you know, just to chip in as we get to World Cup. And of course, the transfer news is absolutely buzzing. The transfer window is buzzing. Players are moving in and out. So stick around for more juicy conversations right here this morning on Odd Sports. And you welcome back to the show, France emerging champions of the World Cup after um, 20 years. I mean, the first time they won it was in 1998, and that was the phenomenal final. But one of the things we also like to mention in the World Cup is that uh, Didier Deschamps has joined the particular league of coaches, uh, joining Mario Zagallo and uh, uh, France Beckenbauer, of course, as only individuals to have won the World Cup, both as a player and as a coach. Of course, uh, 64 matches were played at the World Cup and 455 incidents were checked using the VAR with 7.1 checks per game and 20 VAR review. And interestingly as well, Inter Milan and Bayern Munich, interesting for fact this one, since 1982, Inter Milan has always had a player or two at the final of every World Cup. This year, they had Brozovic and even Perisic both playing in that team but guys still have so much to talk about the World Cup but in brief um, Shion, what would you regard to be your eye points of this World Cup? For me um, it's actually an individual mm. uh, that's um, Paul Pogba. Okay. Now um, when we got to the knockout stages you could see the involvement from a boy to a man. Mm. It took up like more mantle of leadership. Absolutely. He was not the captain of the team, mm. but you could see his presence, you could see the command mm. he had on the team. You know, we, we enjoyed this World Cup. This could easily be one of the best World Cup we've seen in a while Absolutely. because the VAR helped a lot of decisions. And the, the good thing about VAR, there's room for improvement. I think my own legacy would actually be when I saw the Japanese fans and players um, clean the stadium. Stadium. As well yeah, as yeah, that was the Senegalese team as well. Yes, yes, Absolutely. Yes, cleaning the fun. stadium and then leaving a thank you note. I also like the fact that uh, we saw Cristiano Ronaldo helping Edison Cavani when he got injured in that particular game out that, that's what yeah. football is, about, is really all yeah. about and then again another legacy for me on the light is that I will never eat pork meat again especially as mystic Marcos broke my heart by giving me <laughs> wrong predictions <laughs> telling everybody that Belgium will make it to the final and everybody's proud but and Nigeria as well I'm, I'm to the, the semi-final what you say I'm I'm the cat. Cat. yes exactly so those animals do not trust animals but we can agree that it was a very nice work yeah it, it was, was it was a, it was a phenomenal work it was a phenomenal yes it is it is. Hopefully, Cup, hopefully yeah. quarter 2022 would better um, Russia 2018. The ball, you know, for a fact that all this news can come to you at the swipe, of course, a type on your phone when you do well to log on to www.hotspottv.com as well as um, follow us on our social media platforms at Hotspot NG all across board. We'll go for a quick break. When we return, it's time for us to have more discussions, especially as boxing is on the burner. Let's get ready to rumble! Since Kuala Lumpur has hosted a fight of this magnitude, you have to go back to when Muhammad Ali was 33 years old and had a 15-round unanimous decision as the knockdown is scored here in round number three. Pacquiao gets to Matisse. Matisse is still dangerous. And then a counter right. Having some moments in this round. Oh, that got to him. Oh. He... Uppercut again, and he puts him down again. Pacquiao floors him a third time. Pacquiao has done it. Knockout victory and his return fight. How about it? Knockout victory, Manny Pacquiao. 
the winner by TKO victory. And now, once again, he is the Waterway champion of the world, the Cody Pride of the Philippines, Manny. At that threshold of that very hot discussion, the thing this show is all about is all about talking about um, hot topic in sports. And at this time, there is no hotter topic to be discussed rather than the one in front of us this morning. Premier League on hold. ATO leading a sponsor's boycott. Massive shuffling at the glass house. FIFA armor is dangling. Can Nigeria football survive? That right there is the topic in front of us, and I'll ask the gentlemen for their thesis statement. I'll start with Aino. Yes, Nigeria football can survive because, like every other team, we have to survive. It, it won't be the end of football, mm. with whatever is going to happen. Mm. But rather than we, we ask whether we'll survive, I think it's even good because we can redirect our football, whatever happens. Thesis statement right there by Aino. Sean. Uh, well, the way I say it, we, it's going to be difficult for us to survive. Um, you have the sponsors already jumping ship, the football administration itself, uh, the league suspended. Everything right now is in disarray. Mm. The longer it lingers, hmm, bad news. Okay, that's what a thesis statement right there by Sean. But what do you think about all these um, submissions by these gentlemen on their thesis statement? You can do what to send us a text on our S SMS platform on your screen. We'll go for a break when we return. It's argument proper. You welcome back to the show. The topic in front of us this morning is Premier League on old, eight your leading a sponsor is boycott, massive shuffling at the glass house, FIFA ama dangles. Can Nigerian football survive? And the gentleman already took their side earlier uh, with Sean saying that it cannot survive. And Aino is remaining very, very optimistic, saying that anything can survive. Gentlemen, over to you. Sean. Um, there's a thing that says once the head is rotten, everything else crumbles. Now, NFF, um, Chris Giwa, Amaju Pinnick, um, Cut Case. In the first instance, in the first instance, this is a Chris Giwa that has been banned by FIFA. And I believe what the law should say is anything going forward from then on, ab initio, is wrong. Mm. It's a nullity. Now, you're saying, to, is it, you, you can say it's ego, you can, that's really not my problem. But first and first, the sponsors are going out. And what that means is that no more money, the inflow for f um, football development in the nation is within do down. It has trickled down to the um, football league with LMC um, cancelling out, um, suspending the resumption of the league. Mm. Now, what does that mean? Are footballers are going to be at home? Are the clubs going to pay them? That I don't know. Two, on the administration itself, for crying out loud, we are facing a FIFA ban, whether we like it or not. As FIFA ban us now, I think our guys, um, the young guys, uh, the young eagles are playing uh, over the weekend. They have the qualifiers. Falconers are playing sometime later. It is it, it's all something that trickles down. Mm. Now this uncertainty in in, in, in the glass, the uncertainty in the glass has, has also caused us to lose waffle. Austin next but, year. But, but if, if, I, if I may come if I may come in short about the FIFA ban, it's not been brought here that FIFA is going to ban us. Mm. If nobody has said anything about FIFA ban, and whatever happens, we are going it to goes, survive you it. Don't because, it goes, first of all, you said, no, no, let me, ask, of let me ask a question now. Let, let, let me come. Sponsorship, sponsorship no. Now, now, this is the good part about how we are going to survive. Now, we talk about sponsorship, mm. like I2 is moving to... Do this, does this money get to these players? Let's first ask ourselves, what is this money being used for? Mm. We've never had the breakdown, okay, this is what we used to do. Have you ever asked about the breakdown? Have we ever seen a breakdown? No, you've never that's why we ever that seen a breakdown. Wait, have we ever seen? Because two point five billion, we are just saying, where is the two point five billion? Hasn't been put do you, into do our you know, football. Do you, do you know that that's um, this this year, this World Cup is the first time ever that because the Super now, Eagles will go into okay, World let me Cup give you, without any salary issues. With, with now, okay, now you have made, made a statement. You made a statement now. In, in, in all seriousness, will any country play their players before they play a match? Let's ask ourselves a question. You say you want to pay their coach. Oh, why? That's pay their coach. But why are you paying players before they go into the field? See, this is a chance to redirect Nigeria. 
Nigerian yes. football. Whatever happens, whatever happens, we are going to survive. How do you want to develop See, without money? And no, you said you said we are Just going to talk. How do you want to develop without develop money? Develop without money. How you do you use do? your mouth alone? No, you are not going to use your mouth alone because what, what you have you your do? government. See, every government sponsors their their national football or their sports. Now the problem with us here is that we are putting too much politics in our football. We need to take away politics from this and say okay, That's let's exactly the problem this. we are talking about. See, because now we are saying if we follow the ban, you are saying we are not going to. How we are going to survive? How? Everybody Tell me how. Are we not going to survive? Where, where, because, where okay, your, your, okay. your, your national team was okay. not playing. Your league, your league is not playing. Are you going to tell me, league, me, league, me now? Playing. Look at the World Cup we just had now. Nike, Nike sold how many shirts off Nigeria? Now, a lot of money. You saw the followership Nigerians were having, not just from Nigeria. Are you going to tell me FIFA is going to allow that slip? You had you have the people from UK, from America, from Israel, from everywhere. What, 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 the Nigerian what, what, jersey? Nigeria is a great rules. country. Rules. Yes, rules are rules. Rules are rules. 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 But this is an opportunity for us to redirect our football because whatever happens, whatever the outcome, I'm Sean, optimistic we will survive. Sean, Sean, That's you've, what I'm Sean, you've optimistically mentioned it that the sponsorship are absolutely key to the survival of this whole issue, of especially for Nigerian football. And you look at it from the angle that he's saying that regardless of the sponsors, yeah, because, okay. maybe the government can actually step in. Okay, let's... Okay, when, when, sure, when, when sure. was the last... Hold on, please. When was the last time go government actually stepped in into anything? Mm. The last time government handled um, coach salary and all that, we had issues with them. Olise, because of Keshi proper administration. Now, this, this is, is where it boils down. Okay, okay sure, let me ask you a question. Which is one, about, 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 which is okay, one okay. of the reasons why FIFA okay. is saying they do not want any government. Okay, wait, wait, okay, yes. Because, because it's, it's in the case of Nigeria. Because, okay, let me give you an example now of the World Cup that just happened. We we, we, we won't really hear a government complain that, oh, they are their national team, they are not sponsored. Oh, because I chose sponsored everything. This No, because that is what now. We are hearing this now. We need to engage our viewers to understand that this is what has happened now. You talk about sponsorship. Okay, the English Premier do they beg people to come and sponsor them? People are fighting to go and sponsor that league because why? The league is already attractive. Now what we need to do is make our league attractive. We need to make it attractive. We how do you make your league? Be I, 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 how do you make your league attractive without? Because we need to investment. reorganize our football. Whether investment or not, but we need to organize. Let me tell you something. The, yeah. What we have on ground if right you now, like, Sean, if he wants to say, he wants to tell us something. Sean, what Sean, we have, what please. we have, what we have on ground right now, mm. it can't work. Whether with the Giwa case or with the Amajus case, until we redirect our football, we need to change. We can't allow two people change what. What do you we want to change? We need to change our system of football. We need to understand that. Yes, it's, it's proper. FIFA is saying you, you don't allow government mix with football, but this is Nigeria. This is Africa. Government is always going to have a hand in our football. Okay, first off, first off, first off, first okay, off. Okay. I think there, there are the rules of every association. You applied into FIFA, and FIFA has its rules and regulations, its terms and conditions. True. That if mm -hmm. you are coming to us, this and this and this, which includes no government interference whatsoever. If you have any grievances but, but whatsoever, hold on, hold on, okay. Now, as if I had a case like this before, if you have any grievances whatsoever, but as if I had a case like this before, let's ask. But as if I had a case like this before, because, like this before. Several, because now inside Nigeria, no, no, the problem I'm having now because inside this country, you're having two courts giving two different orders. Now that's the problem we are facing. That One court recognizes Amaju, the other court is recognizing Giwa. Now what's happening? That's what I'm explaining to you. Whatever is going to happen, we have to survive. Going, going, we going, have going, 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 we, we love football. In, in we love football a lot when, in this when it comes to football. But this, this, is, this is what I'm telling you. This is, is Nigeria. This, this, mm. We need to understand this is Nigeria. You can't say this That's is Nigeria. See, this FIFA, is football FIFA, has see, gone beyond Nigeria. See, it's an football has gone beyond. Team. Okay, why do you think FIFA is trying to organize a 42 team World Cup? Because they are trying to evolve everybody into They are trying to make things it more are changing. Do you think Do you think Are we changing? Is Nigeria changing? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm explaining to you. Is it not part of the malady that we're talking about? to redirect. We will survive whatever happens. Nigeria is We are surviving. Let's take it to a aspect. We when, are when, as when, when the leadership of your football body, to, because to me, the way I see you don't even have any leader. We don't know whether we are following yes, Amaju. We don't see, know whether we are this following. is the good so part about what FIFA is going to happen. Whatever is going to happen, this is the good part. Nigerian football what? right now is, a, is like a ruderless But whatever is going to happen, this is the good part. It's like a ruderless ship. Whatever is going to happen, we don't Giwa, defense, defense. If whatever sanction FIFA chose to us, Giwa and Amaju would leave. So that's the first thing now. Like, we are going to first start thing, the game. Now let's start. Beyond, let's see what we can do. We can we can be having this. I said it. No, that's not the Do you know that we are supposed to host Wafu next year? Yes. Yes, so yes, 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 and now yes, it's been yes. moved to Senegal. Why? Yes. Because of the situation because going on now. Because we are not ready. Sean, um, what are you exactly, essentially, saying here? Especially with him coming at you from the angle of um, any survival is possible. Are you saying that with or without sponsorship, it's a dead end for Nigerian football? Is that what it is? Well, the saying is, um, what is worth doing? Is worth doing well? Is worth doing very well. Mm. Now, if you are saying that you're not going to have any sponsorship, um, FIFA is going to ban you, 
you're not going to have any leadership, how then are you going to coordinate the football development in the country? Mm. Now, we are talking about grassroots up. Who is going to do all the logistics, the legworks? It's not... That's why we have, we have, we have, we have a sports commission. Now, we need to ask ourselves, this is it's far more than... You see, in, the, in, in England, it's far from the FA. There's a sports commission. There are guys behind the scenes that run these things. For Christ's sake, everybody just... But we have them in Nigeria we, as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, if, if they're banned, if Nigeria is banned by FIFA, we, our sports commission is still going to operate. It's not because FIFA has banned our sports commission. Because, because now, uh, let, me, let me give you an example why. Let me give you an example why we are even making this thing up. In 2013, I remember Joseph Yobo stating the Nigerian government actually had a hand to do it. Nigeria lifting the cup because they supported them, they helped them, the back through. This is a professional footballer saying this. Mm. Yobo had that statement. You can go back and check his statement. Mm. He said it. Now, let's ask ourselves a question. FIFA is going to ban Nigeria. Okay, yes, it's not the end of the world. We need to move on. We need to move on because I'm tired. That's it. Like Baba Jide, I'm Sean, are you tired? tired? See, Baba Jide, I'm like tired. I said, Sean, I am beyond, tired. It's beyond, I'm tired beyond, it's, beyond, it's beyond FIFA ban. Mm. It's way beyond FIFA ban. It's what, what happens exactly to the football exactly that matters. Exactly what happens to the football. No, if, if what is happening, because look, look at the World Cup. Look at the World Cup. Look at the World Cup. You made an example. You made an example. Let me give you just one example. What happened to Spain? Immediately, they took out the head coach what happened what happened to spain what happened to spain see what happened to spain was an internal issue was it was it was a problem because what happened between spain was you think no 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 on paper or what we're hearing behind the scene was because of real madrid and personal players that happened what is happening in spain is ego and pride what happened in spain so first of all it was wrong to have taken off the coach and Madrid too were wrong what they have done, but that's the step aside. That is, that is, is, that is, is not Spain. Is not this is, that is, that is Spain. We have this a is leadership Nigeria. problem. That is Spain. This we is Nigeria. Have, we have a leadership, we have problem. A leadership we problem. problem. But what I'm telling you, my own what I'm trying to say, Nigeria is going to survive because under under the ban, we there's a time for us to redirect our football. We need to ask ourselves a question. What are you when would this stop? You have, when you do not yeah, have because our sports commission needs to sit down today. Giwa is coming tomorrow. Madrid is coming. We need you, 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 you have to, to understand. You have to understand one thing. And you know, he's saying in this particular argument is that we need this to stop. There needs to be a focus. While Sean is saying that there is nothing to focus on when the head is bad. Guys, we will go for a quick break. When we return, it's time for final whistle. You welcome back to the show and you guys you don't want to be in the same seat I am right now because this gentleman absolutely brought a lot of heat to the argument but here is my final whistle I feel strongly that um, I like to probably slightly tilt to both you know both guys uh, and you know and Sean I kind of agree with Sean that once the head is bad it crumbles but then again life generally nature itself by default has taught us survival as a key adaptation to every situation well while I can say that um, the survival may be difficult it may be very very hard to come by but it will survive it may be a blessing in disguise to redirect the football, to redirect the kind of, to channel, you know, better energy and better positive vibes, like they say, these days towards the football. But then again, all ads have to be very, very in place. But that's my final submission. That's the final whistle. Having had a great, great conversation with this gentleman has caused debate on the topic on your screen. So if at all you think um, you're supporting probably Sean or Ian or probably you have your own view as you got this issue, how about you go well to our social media platform and as well as the SMS um, link on your screen. Do well to send out the text message that will be read on the show. And finally, as we go, guys, we can say that uh, Formula One will um, you're a fan of Formula 1, I'm um, Sean. It's going to resume this particular uh, weekend on Sunday. Who are you rooting for this season? This is Sebastian Vettel or Lewis Hamilton? Team Hamilton. Um, I've always been Team Hamilton. Um, though now Vettel is leading 4-3. Mm. Uh, and I think mostly has to be with the Mercedes team. Mm. Half the time is being their fault. Um, you know, communication problems. Absolutely. And then the last one, um, I think um, someone from the Ferrari team hits... Um, Hamilton, but I think Hamilton is a survivor. He has what it takes. He's, he's, he's going to battle it out. Speaking of survival, yeah? yeah? Just like <laughs> I saw that coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I saw that. You want to take a handshake? I think you should take the handshake. It's been a thoroughly enjoyable show, especially with our discussions. Do well to please uh, stay glued to your TV set, especially every Saturday, 10 30 a.m. on NTA Network. This has been all sports this particular uh, Saturday. Thank you so very much, Aino, for uh, coming through. Yeah, thank you, Baba Jide, for having me. Thank Mr. You, survival. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nigeria will survive. We have to survive. We really, we really need to. We really need to. No, we really need to survive. But till then, 
Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah so survival yeah, 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 is the yeah, theme yeah, for today's yeah. show. If I didn't stop them there, these guys are ready to go on and on and on. But one yeah. thing I want to do right now is to thank you very much for joining the show. We thank you so very much. And we will be here again next week, Saturday. So we'll come your way. Remember, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye for now.